Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Just out taking a hike on this uh, warm afternoon. And uh, thought I'd uh, share a couple of pointers with you guys and uh, talk a little bit about the preparedness community in general. Um, since I don't sell anything or do anything uh, like that i pretty much just try to sell the message of preparedness i don't you know while there's certain gear i like and stuff you know i'm not pushing this or that for people to buy and uh i think experience is worth uh more than any of that gear uh more or less it's out there you know uh, an ounce of experience is worth a pound of uh, gear so to speak and um you know i seen I seen the old women, 80 years old, start fires with uh, just a box of matches and a pocket knife where they made some uh, wood shavings in, uh, in their wood stoves and in their burn barrels and stuff outside. And I seen them same old 80 year old women take that same pocket knife and uh, dress out a rooster for Sunday dinner, you know, and start the fire for uh, the torch uh, to singe that bird before they uh, dressed it out, all with the stuff they had in their apron. <clears throat> so it's not so much the gear you have as it is the, uh, you know, the skill to use what you have, and you're not going to get that unless you get out and, uh, you know, have some real world experience. Now, uh, I'll give you Give you just a little bit of, uh, I guess, advice here, whatever. The first thing you do when you get your pack out or put your gear on for the day, your EDC, whatever it is, you check that stuff over. You know, I got my pack on here for this walk, and I checked it over before I put it on and I came out here. And one of my gloves was missing. I wouldn't have known that if I just threw my pack on and walked off out here. I wouldn't have had my gloves with me. And I think the gloves are... I, pretty important piece of equipment and turn around here show you that I'm right here along the lake on one side and uh, there's a little bit of a marshy area over here sort of a uh, kind of brackish water on that side and uh, I got my pack on you know pack I always carry just walking down this trail here it's nothing nothing crazy water's pretty clear back behind me here now there's water on that side of the trail, but uh, it's pretty brackish. If I had to filter water, I'd take it out of this because I want to start with the cleanest water possible, right? You know, those kind of things. But you know what? It's warm out. So I made sure I had plenty of water with me before I left. I actually took twice the amount of water that I think I'm gonna need on this little hike here because it's warm. There's a warm wind blowing. It's gonna suck the moisture right out of your body. This is uh, weather for drying clothes and not so much uh, hiking in because it is so dry. I see too many people have gear that they just, they haven't used enough to know whether or not that's even what they need. And uh, the only thing that's gonna correct that is to get out here and uh, personally i think hiking is one of the best things that you can possibly do as a prepper find little wild areas where you live and uh hike get out it'll get you interface with your environment you can get uh interface with the local you know fauna and flora you'll find out you know where resources are I take walks like this everywhere I go, and I don't just limit it to natural areas like this. I do the same kind of walks in urban areas because you know what? There's resources in them too, and uh, you can't just throw the baby out with the bathwater when you go from one area to the next and say, well, that area is just no good because you never know what area you're going to find yourself in. And... Uh, that's why I try to bridge that gap, too. I do a lot of nature-type stuff, but I'm not afraid to go into urban areas and uh, check out what's going on in there, too, because you know what? You might have to go to a hospital. You might uh, find yourself in an urban area. You know, everybody talks about 
being out in the bush and the sticks and all that other stuff. But you know what? Reality in life puts you in places you don't expect a lot of times. Kind of a nice little uh, patch of woods back there. You can see it's a little bit lower right there, a little kind of a dip going through there. Like fire too, you know. Um, a lot of people talk about fire making and stuff. But would I really want to make a fire out here on a day like today? It's hot, dry, there's the wind blowing. And that gets back to the water, you know. I'm taking extra water because I don't want to have to do something stupid and have to purify water because I was dumb and didn't bring enough, you know, water with me. I might have a water filter. I might not, you know. It depends on your situation. But uh, sometimes just because you can, you know, start a fire, that might not be the best. You can look out here, the, the lake's back over there now. We've kind of come inland a little bit um because of course i don't want to start a fire and burn the woods down you know so maybe it's better to just carry an extra liter or two of water than it is to worry about forging water especially when you're on like a little uh little walk like this so not always what you see on uh, the youtube videos kind of sort of the the conventional youtube video wisdom that's not always uh, always the best. And again, you're not going to know that unless you get out and uh, kind of try that stuff for yourself. So anyway, just a little talk here while I'm uh, walking and uh, experiencing uh, this actually really beautiful trail here. Out just, uh, you know, doing my thing. And, uh, you know, remember when you're going out hiking... Especially alone like I am right now, everybody knows where you are. You say, hey, you know what, I'm going to be at this particular trailhead at this particular time. I think it's going to take me, you know, two hours to walk this. I'm going to walk it, and then I'll be back. Because that way, if something goes wrong, people know where you're at. Don't always uh, depend on uh, everything going right. Sometimes things go wrong. People need to know where you're at. You know, make sure that you're... Uh, Electronic stuff is charged before you come out here. If there's a, a map of the trailhead, take a picture of that trailhead and uh, let people know when you're where you're going and when you're going to be back. That right there, I'll guarantee you, has saved more hikers and hunters and uh, outdoor people than uh, you know all the fancy rescue uh, people that you hear and talk about. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information. And a little entertainment, as always, out of my video here on my walk. And uh, you guys have a good one.